Hey everyone, it's Tonya with Hidden Light Photography. And I wanted to cover really quickly a hardware uh, requirement change coming up in the latest PixInsight version that's coming out in the very near future. Um, it seems that this hardware requirement was present in the current uh, version. However, it did get suspended and is coming out again very quickly. So I wanna make sure that you know what to do. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Uh, also, if you could please do me a favor, like, comment, and share on this video as it will give this video more reach, meaning it'll be able to be seen by more people and be able to help them out. So I appreciate that help. Uh, let me bring you over to my computer, cover what to look for, as well as a couple of questions that I'm sure will immediately come to mind. So from the PixInsight homepage, if we go to Community, PixInsight Forum, what we'll see is Announcements, we'll click, and then we'll go to PixInsight 1.8.9-2, build 1605 released, and we'll have all of the build versions of the current version of PixInsight. Now, if you go to PixInsight version 1.8.9-2, build 1593, we click, and then we go to the bottom, what we'll see is critical changes. If we read this, we'll see from version 1.8.9-2, build 1593, PixInsight requires support for AVX2 and FMA3 processor instructions on Linux and Windows. This will not affect any Mac users. However, if you are using a Linux or Windows machine, this will affect you. Now, I mentioned that this did get suspended. If we back up and we go to the very next build, version 1.8.9-2, build 1596, we click and we go to the bottom to critical changes. We'll read version 1.8.9-2, build 1596, does not require support for AVX2 and FMA3 processor instructions. This reverts the change we introduced in build 1593, released in December 2023 in the Linux and Windows versions. We have decided to postpone the requirement of advanced vector instructions until the release of PixInsight 1.9.0, which is planned for autumn 2024. In other words, this hardware requirement is coming up very quickly, so what do we do? There's two questions I'm sure immediately come to mind. One is, how do I know if I meet this hardware requirement? And two, if I do not meet this hardware requirement, can I still use PixInsight? The good news is a lot of newer machines do meet this hardware requirement. However, if you're not sure, it's very easy to um, find out. What we'll do is we'll go to our favorite web browser, go to google.com, and we'll type in CPU ID. You should see it pop up. If you don't, just continue typing in CPU ID until you see it pop up. When you do, click. We'll see CPUID.com. We want softwares. Now, this is um, some software that's trusted by many, many, many people. Personally, I have not found any issues with it, but ultimately it's up to you if you want to trust it. If you decide to trust it, we want CPU-Z, we'll go to Windows, exit out of that pop-up, and you'll see some download options. Now, uh, we'll click the download option that we want, and then uh, depending on your system, you'll see a downloads box pop up in the top right, and it'll look something like this. Now, your computer may, um, raise some concerns about the software being trusted or not. If you decide to trust the software, just accept the disclaimers and let it download on your hard drive. You'll see CPU-Z downloading. Once it's done, click open file. You may or may not get a box in the middle of your screen that pops up and asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you get that box, just hit yes. Follow the install wizard and then you'll have CPU-Z on your computer. Now, once it is installed on your computer, you should have a desktop icon where you can go to the search bar, type in CPU-Z. Just go ahead and hit yes. And you'll see the CPU ID box pop up. 
Once it's fully loaded, it's going to give you information about your uh, computer. Under instructions, if you see AVX2 and FMA3, then you're good to go. If you do not see AVX2 and FMA3, then unfortunately your computer does not meet the requirements. Keep in mind, AVX is not the same as AVX2. It must be AVX2. Now, if you do not meet the hardware requirements, the question comes up, can I still use PixInsight? And the answer for right now is yes. What you would want to do is download 1.8.9-2 or earlier. If you are currently using PixInsight and you do not meet the requirements, then you're, you're going to want to stay on no greater than 1.8.9-2 since 1.8.9-2 is the last one that will not have the hardware requirement. Now, keep in mind, this could be temporary. All versions of software do eventually become unsus unsupported. And once 1.8.9-1 and 1.8.9-2 become unsupported and you start getting issues with them, you are going to have to eventually upgrade to the latest um, and greatest, meaning you will need to meet the uh, hardware requirements, unfortunately. Again, I wouldn't worry too much. A lot of the newer machines do meet the hardware requirement, and now we have a very easy way to check. Now, one thing that I want to uh, bring to mind, I do get questions on this every once in a while. Um, in your PixInsight core application, every once in a while, you'll get a pop-up in the top left corner stating that you have updates available that does not update the core application. So if you did not know how to check your, um, if you meet the hardware requirement and you saw that little pop-up in the top left corner and were afraid to hit it because you didn't want to affect your ability to use PixInsight, don't worry, that does not um, update the core application. All that that does is update your repositories. All that that's stating is that you have updates available in your repositories. Now, in order to update to the current version of PixInsight, or I should say in order to update the core application of PixInsight, you're going to have to go into your software distribution account and physically click on the next version. Now, you do not need to uninstall the previous version of PixInsight. When you click on the next version and you download and install that version of PixInsight, the install wizard will uninstall any previous versions of PixInsight for you. Um, lastly, how do you know which version and build you have on PixInsight? All that you would do is go to resources and about PixInsight and you'll have the current core version and build number. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Throw a comment in the comment section. Did you learn anything new? What questions or concerns do you have? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.